Hey guys, welcome back to my study journal. So in today's video, I'm gonna share how did I spend my summer vacation productively yet I enjoyed a lot. So my summer vacation started on April 28th and continued until June 12th. So I got a whole month of May and 53 days of holidays. And I thought how to spend these holidays um usefully and so i made few summer goals for myself like making yoga a habit improving my communication skills doing a small bit of research about my career path like having fun make over, making my room more better learning any life skill and all those stuff so even you can make your summer goals so that you can follow them and make a good improvement in your life so from may 20 to sorry not actually may 20 from 20th of april to may 7th i was staying in my home i didn't went for any vacation or i didn't went to any one space i just stayed in my home and completed all my holiday homeworks and stuff like of course we are in 10th standard and will get many holiday homeworks like all the completing projects worksheets lab records and stuff for example we have social uh, we have disaster management and social in english we have russia and ukraine war so that we have to write a project on it and we have many more such like lab record and uh, some worksheets for uh, based worksheets based on lessons so we have many worksheets actually for subjects like biochemistry physics like that and we also got lab records so i completed all the holiday homeworks or uh, before may 7th actually uh, cuz on may 7th i'm going to my grandmother's house and i just want to have fun later on uh, as i don't want to rush just uh, i don't want to rush before holidays completing my holiday So these are just random clips of me completing my holiday homework. After completing them, I just kept in this file so that I don't miss them out. Uh, so this file is very handy, and you can see my summer routine uh, as a tenth grader in my previous videos. So now I'll introduce you guys to a proper and useful platform called Skim, which is available on Discord app. First you need to install an app called Discord and click on the link in the description box then you'll go into Skim right there. So Skim is for CBSE 10th and 11th graders and the good thing about it is it is totally free of cost. You are getting all your chapter uh, short notes videos for conceptual understanding and it's for free like what else we need. So Don't miss out this amazing platform. You can install Discord app and you can get into this only through the link given in the description box below. So try it and you will have a very fun and effective. We'll also have bite-sized posts and concepts for all the videos which can be done only in 40 seconds. and more than 5000 students are already using it including me even you can get into skim and so today i decided to learn physics chapter which is our first chapter in physics light and reflection and refraction of light so i just gave the revision of all the concepts so it's really useful So the link will be given in the description box below through which you can get into skim. So let's get back into the video as I said you all until 7th I stayed in my home and I completed all my holiday homeworks. So on 8th of May I was going to my grandmother's house. So I was really so excited and this time we are going in train like it's been many years actually that we traveled in train so i was really so excited for this summer vacation so generally if there's any summer vacation i'll go to some foreign trips and all but i still go to my grandmother's house yeah of course that's fun like so we can see their beautiful sunset video from our grandmother's terrace so I was shooting the video of it so that I can share with you guys too. So I also clipped 
take some beautiful pictures like i felt the uh, the weather was so so comment me down below where did you went in your summer vacation and how did you enjoy your trip and stuff so i went to my grandmother's house my cousin's place and all so this is our grandmother's small garden and this is the view of the sunset so i felt so good clicking this so as i said you guys we went on 8th of may and returned on 20th of may so my half holidays are done like are uh, my half holidays were done and i already completed my holiday homework and stuff so i was relaxed and tension free so this clip is when i was frustrated waiting for the train the train is delayed and i'm so frustrated waiting for it and i was starving like hell like it took some time to reach railway station from our grandmother's home and i was starving like once we got into the train also there's no one selling food so my dad ordered pizza burger or garlic bread and a brownie so the pizza delivery person just gave us uh, in some station so we took that so we took that and we ate it i was like starving so why and then on may 21st uh, i returned back to my home and from may 21st to may 31st i was staying in my home and it was a normal casual summer routine like you, which you can see in my previous vlogs so again from june 1st to june 7th i stayed in my sister's home my cousin sister's home so i also have a small cousin brother so i was staying with them like we we only meet in holidays and stuff like we only meet during holidays right so we just had a lot of so i also thought of sharing uh, my sister's study table as it was super cute and organized um uh, you can see it is so beautiful the woodwork and stuff so i thought of sharing with you guys like she organized it pretty well she have a computer and this is her keychain thing like she'll hang over all the keychains over there and then this is her tuition bag like she'll go to tuition and everything will be over there so that she can pick it up and go right go fast like so we also have small drawers the study table is so nice so i thought of why not to share with you guys so that you can have an idea if you are trying to get any study table and this is her room everything is in proper color coordination so i really like that So this is my sister's room. I felt it was so good that's why I recorded. And as I said you when I was shooting this video it was still June 2nd. I just thought of staying until June 7th and I'll return back to my home on June 8th. And my holidays are until 13th or 12th maybe I don't remember properly. and 14th our schools will start actually 13th our schools will start so that's with my vacation thanks for watching subscribe for